have been in Brooklyn. Today I will be sharing some of the Halloween activities that we did last year, including the Great jack o lantern Blaze. All of this was shot last year, so there will be no masks or social distancing happening. Last year for Halloween, Kate and I dressed up as characters from E.T. I was Elliot and she was Gertie, and we made a pillow into E.T. Somehow, for Halloween, I always end up having to shave my beard for the costume. We had a pretty chill Halloween last year. Uh, we just hung out with some friends. We all dressed up and carved some pumpkins. Uh, Kate and I made Jack Skellington and a cat in honor of Leslie. Kate and I have some Halloween traditions. We love to make pumpkin chocolate chip muffins and uh, watch some Halloween movies. We're not really into scary movies, so we like to watch Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, and Corpse Bride. A little later in November, we were able to go to the Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. The Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze is a display of thousands of pumpkins hand-carved by artisans, and it is uh, at the Van Cortlandt Manor up in the Hudson Valley. Not all of the pumpkins are real, but all of them are hand-carved. These pumpkins are turned into anything from dinosaurs to a carousel to the Statue of Liberty. At the Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze, you can walk around the property and see all the jack-o'-lanterns and sculptures lit up. It's a very popular activity, so tickets sell out quickly, so we had to wait till November to go. To get there, we got on the Metro North train line at Grand Central and took it to the Croton Harmon Station. From there, it's only about a 10 or 15 minute walk to the manor. Temperatures were about the mid-20s last year, so we had to bundle up because once we got off the train, we were outside until we got back on the train. The tickets are timed, so we needed to wait a little bit before we could go in and see the pumpkins, so Kate and I grabbed some food at the food stands before we went in. It was really cold, so we decided to get some mac and cheese and hot cider to warm up a little bit. We also grabbed an apple cider donut for dessert. After we warmed up a little bit with our food, we could go in to see the pumpkins. The path was a one-way loop, but you could stay in there as long as you wanted, so if you wanted to go backwards and see your favorite pumpkins again, you could do that. The atmosphere was really fun. There was music and sound effects going on. There were pumpkins everywhere. It was really fun to see all of the sculptures and I was impressed with the variety of sculptures that there were. Some of the pumpkin displays are the same every year, um, but there are new ones that come every year just depending on what artists come. One of our favorites was a huge dragon that looked like it was going in and out of the water and it also had water sound effects going on around it. There was a working carousel with skeleton animals. There was a wall of Celtic knots that were carved into pumpkins. There's the Headless Horseman Bridge. Uh, it's a tunnel that you can go through and there's animated lights going all around you. Our favorite by far was the Pumpkin Planetarium. The whole tunnel lit up into patterns and it was mesmerizing to watch. We stood there for a long time. It was really fun to see all the sculptures and I was impressed with the variety of sculptures that there were.
We ended up staying about an hour and a half. That was about all we could take because it was so cold, but it was well worth dealing with the cold to see all of these cool sculptures. After we left, we just walked back to the train station, got on the train and headed back to Grand Central Station. Overall, it was a super fun experience. We enjoyed every minute of it. The Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze is a very easy day trip to take from New York City. If you are looking for a unique Halloween experience, this is definitely up there on our list. It is open this year with extra regulations in place, of course, but it runs from September through November. So that was our Halloween last year. We had a great time hanging out with friends, dressing up, and going to see the Great Jack Lantern Blaze. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Please do like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait. Be on the lookout for part two of our quarantine experience in New York City on November 8th. Okay, now outro. A little later in November last year, we were able to go to the Great Pumpkin. There is no indoor space at the Great Pumpkin Blaze. There is no indoor space at the Great Pumpkin. The Great Jack Lantern Blaze.